Welcome back everybody, Brabant here. Today we're back in the forest on day 235 of our survival. And I'm currently very ill, I need to go ahead and find some aloe vera. Uh, just in time for sunrise as well. So today what we're going to go ahead and do is grab a lot of cloth. And we want to finish off this area in here. We want to place all this bone armor down and get this looking nice and fresh. Then once we've done that we're going to go ahead and get some displays and make this look really good in here. I do need to find some aloe vera though. So I really can't do anything in this episode without any more cloth. So that's what we're going to do straight away. We're going to go ahead and grab a lot of cloth. So where we need to go is near the treehouse base actually. We've not been there in a long time. Aloe vera! Yes. Perfect. Let's go ahead and check up on this beast shall we? We've not been here in a while. Oh that's cool. I didn't even realise I can put an anchor point on both sides here. Um, actually any side. But what we're here for is not this base. We're going to go to the left over here at this cave entrance and head on in. So in here are a bunch of these crates. Now in here you get four pieces of cloth. And if you go ahead and leave the cave and then come back in, these boxes will replenish. They will reset back to how they were. So what we're going to do is place a marker down at each of these. Like so. And then destroy these. Okay, so, I think there's one or two over here as well. I've got a few markers down, but I've used all the skulls already. Got no skulls left. So we've got one up here that we've already got. And we can come around here and find them in the dark. So we've got one on the left, one on the right. We've got one up here, just there. Another one around here, and to be honest, that might be it. Oh, there's one more up there. And also these crates do... Ah, perfect example. These crates do replenish, so we can perhaps get a load of batteries out of these. Now, yes, this is a massive exploit, and I do frown upon doing it, but the amount of cloth that I'm going to use over the next couple of episodes is going to be ridiculous. So, uh, the re well, another reason that I'm doing this is so that the uh, the developers realize this is an issue, and it's something that we can do to abuse uh, the cave replenishing mechanics. So, I really want them to fix it. So, I've gone ahead and got all of the crates now. What we're going to head do is exit the cave and then re-enter and they'll all be back to how they were. Now, this is where it gets really repetitive because all you have to do is just keep doing this over and over again until you've got the amount of cloth that you want. So we already collected a few but we just got around I'd say 42 pieces from this one trip. And you see they're all back. All back. Not one of them. And you can see that they're all back. They've all been replenished. So hopefully you guys do agree with me and see the issue with this. Alright, so just to give you an example I probably went down six times, maybe seven. I've got 218 pieces of cloth, which is uh, which is a pretty hefty amount when you think about it. So I'm going to leave it at that for now, and then we'll head back to the sinkhole base. Okay, listen to this sound for just a second. How does that make any sense? There's also a baby around somewhere, I don't know where though. <laughs> That's a lizard. I knew it! I knew it would crash! The game literally just crashed. So the game just crashed, but luckily it managed to save. It does it quite a lot. Whenever I go to save it, it just it struggles. Like, it's uh, probably one in every... Where's this repair sign coming from? It's probably one in every... Oof, it's there. If I don't find it, it's going to bug me. Okay, fine, good. Don't know why they were damaged. I'd say one every five times it crashes. It's uh, really unreliable, like it's dangerous as well. If I make a lot of progress in the world and go to save it, there's like a small chance it might just not save. Alright, I want to make sure I'm not missing any pieces on these. The feet are all done. Legs done, arms, yeah, looks like they're all done. Alright, let's move on to this one now, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and use some of these as well, I think. It sounds weird inside still, doesn't it? Tell me it's not just me. Everything sounds reverby. We're also going to keep our sleep schedule on track as much as possible, because we want to be breeding those rabbits fast. And if we're, um, if we're going to keep messing things up, we're going to end up spending a few nights awake. Alright, let's check on the rabbits, fingers crossed. We are not having much luck at all, are we? Wow. This is dreadful luck. 
So is it a 30% chance now? I think it's technically a 30% chance, isn't it? So I want to find out if it's faster for me to do this, you know? Um, but I don't want to risk it yet. I'm just going to keep going as we are now. One more piece, and we are done. There we are. And uh, let's finish this off. They look beefy. I like that. So let's take a look at the... Where are we? We want to the weapon racks. Do I have just one, or do I have two? Now... I could even have three, thinking about it. One here, one here, and one there. So that's what it would look like. It's a little bit off-center, I know. But I don't think that's giving us enough space, if I'm honest with you. So let's cancel those. And I think I'm just going to go with the one right there. Wait, where's all our Timmy drawings gone? We put them down in the cave, didn't we? In that case, what I'm going to do is get the katana right... Uh, I think that's actually a good spot. Get the katana down in the middle right there, and then below it, we'll place the Timmy drawing of the decapitation. Oh, this could be wrong, this could be wrong. No, that's pretty good. I like it, I do. All right, cool, let's go ahead and get the Timmy drawing. Now, also for some lights, let's uh, let's figure, do I have any skulls? I've got one, so we'll pick some of those on my way out. Now, I might put one here, one there, and how about that? That's looking pretty good. Both of those placements are all right. Uh, this one could do with me a little bit forwards, actually, but there we go. Bingo. They're bang on. Perhaps a little wall planter as well right there. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary. Let's go ahead and get the drawing, shall we? So I'm pretty sure this Timmy drawing is located at the middle, the bottom middle cave you can see right there. Oh, come on then. Fine. I'll get rid of you guys first. Never mind. They're not even going to walk at me. They're just, they're just literally sat there staring, so we'll leave them to it. And I think it's this one right up here. Now, I can't guarantee it, but we'll find out soon enough. Ooh. Yes, there we are. Perfect. Thought it was. Look at that. I love the lighting here. It looks really good. Just the shadows and the colors just matches really well. I also didn't pick up a skull, which is a bit of a shame. But let's go ahead and pick out the Timmy drawing from our inventory. I wonder if it'll crash. Nope, that one worked. Wait, where's the Timmy drawing gone? It was right there. My Timmy drawing's gone. The one that I just had, I didn't put it down anywhere. Yeah, that's what happened. I went to save it, didn't I? And I think if you press C, it places it down. Oh, it's there! <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Time to get another one. Luckily, though, the cave isn't that far away. It probably takes, I'd say, 30, 40 seconds to get there. Or here, should I say. <gasps> the Timmy drawing! Um, the Timmy drawing's gone. So, I just realised something. Because I placed this under here, and you can't pick it back up, they made a change recently, we're talking probably four updates ago, where... Items related to the story can only be picked up once, which means I'm not going to get another one of these. I went back to the cave to try and get it, didn't work, reload the world, didn't work, and then I remembered. So that guy's staying under there, so ridiculous. I wonder if I destroyed the base, no I'm kidding. So unfortunately, we're going to have to use a different one. Uh, I might go for the, uh, the red wall um, drawing, you know what I mean. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Today's just one of those days where not everything goes quite as you planned. I also want to do some of this, actually. Um, I never really got round to finishing... Did I place a log at the front of it? No. I never really got round to finishing this second bit here um, with the log sled. So let me go ahead and organize these to show you. See, I can't actually get this in. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. So I'm going to have to stick with two, I think, on this side. It's just not enough room. Unless I just deal with it and pull these other ones back a little bit, like that. But then when I go to put these ones in... Whoa, let's not do that ever again. Okay, sketchy. Um, oh, never mind, they do fit. There we go. Now we can go ahead and build the rock wall right here. And just cover up this side. We're going to have to have a little bit more space, so we're going to have to go out to probably about here. It's going to look a little bit off, but we need that extra space. There we go. Looking pretty good. Let's do the same for this side. Boom. Right. How many rocks do we have? Do 
Do we have any over here? No. Alright, let's make a rock trip, shall we? Looks like I left the gate open. Oh dear. I do not remember doing that. Maybe the cannibals have learnt to open gates. It sounds echoey, didn't it? That was really echoey. Oh, how much faster was that getting up with a log sled then? Let's go backwards. Look at that. Setting over the trap. So good. The thing that annoys me most about having that drawing over there is that you barely even notice it. Like, unless you're looking for it, it's just so well hidden. So, we're not able to sleep for a little while, so during the night, I'm going to go ahead and grab the katana again, because I don't have it. I placed it down, didn't I? So, yeah, we're going to head over there really quickly right now. There she is, look, look at that. Now, let's go ahead and grab some of these, uh, the resources down here while we're here. As if we even need them. Looks like we don't. Fuel cans! I did not know they were here. Wow. Three. Yeah, we'll grab them, why not? Look at that! The moon! Perfect timing! Utterly perfect. Could not have timed that better. Wow. And finally, we can finish this light. Oh, that looks so good. How bright is that? Wow. Okay, I don't think I have any rocks on me for that. But what we're going to do is go ahead and sleep, hopefully, and check on the rabbits in the morning. Please, 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 please. Not one. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> like, what? I'm sure we'll get there at some point, it's just going to take a while. Our luck is not very high with these ones. I hear a baby. Uh-oh. Oh, bug. You see that? On the last one, the blood showed up, but I hadn't attacked the baby. See if I can get her to jump off. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I was joking, but... Oh, dear. Bless her. And done. Looks a little bit more complete now. Um, I really want to start filling this up with stuff. I want to make the center have a purpose. I also mentioned at one point that I want to add a support for this thing under the bottom. Still, it's a work in progress. I'm not really sure uh, when that's going to happen, if that's going to happen. Uh, but if you would like to see me add a support for this, let me know in the comments below. Tell you what, that would be a lot of work. Borderline impossible. <laughs> but unfortunately, guys, I do have to round today's episode up here. It's been a nice one. I love that we've got this um, armory done now. Uh, really not much we can do except add some wall items and stuff. Just the small details. I'm annoyed that we also lost the painting that I wanted to use, the uh, Timmy drawing. Uh, but oh well, you know, things happen. Alright, everyone, so if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please be sure to press the like button. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.